Hello, and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Thomas Smith, and I'm a lead technical support based in Austin, Texas. In this session, I'll describe runtime library options for the installation system. The installation system will configure all products to use runtime datasets. Runtime datasets consist of non-VSAM user libraries that contain configured product elements. Runtime libraries that are created by copying product content from the SMPE target libraries. VSAM product datasets. The SMPE target libraries are copied to the runtime libraries to isolate the runtime environment from the maintenance environment. This allows the user to apply maintenance to the SMPE environment without disturbing the deployed runtime libraries. Maintenance can be introduced to the runtime libraries in a controlled manner. As they release, all product lines will define granular DD defs for SMPE target datasets. This will become important when reuse of common components is implemented in the installation system. For example, MainView infrastructure may have a DDDEF of MVI link, which helps to segregate those modules from the rest of the MainView product line. This will enable the infrastructure component to be received into an SMPE zone and reused or copied to several product installations that require those components. The Runtime Options panel allows you to specify different high-level qualifiers for the product, non-VSAM, and VSAM datasets. This allows shops with naming standards to direct these three different types of runtime datasets to different DASD allocations. You may also use the same high-level qualifier for all three. On the next slide, we will see three different options for specifying low-level qualifiers for the runtime datasets. This provides flexibility in how the datasets will be concatenated in C-List and Prox and in directing certain product content to certain low-level qualifiers. If you have an existing APF load library, you may specify the name and all the load library content, including any members that are configured by the installation system, will be copied to that library. On the Runtime Options panel, you specify the product, non-VSAM, and VSAM high-level qualifiers for your runtime datasets. You can use the Quick Fill fields to quickly populate the high-level qualifier fields and then add other qualifiers to specific lines if desired. The Quick Clear will clear the dataset fields. The product high-level qualifier is used for the regular runtime datasets that represent a copy of the SMPE target datasets. After applying maintenance to the SMPE target zone, the content should be copied to these runtime datasets using the generated installation job. The product non-VSAM datasets are often referred to as user lib datasets in which content is configured by the install or customized by the user. Keeping the customized content separate from the product runtime datasets that represent the SMPE target content is important if the product runtime datasets ever need to be recreated or when maintenance is applied to the SMPE datasets and then copied to the product runtime datasets. This prevents the customized content from being overlaid each time the product runtime datasets are refreshed. All product non-VSAM datasets will be concatenated ahead of the product runtime datasets in all product C list and procs as appropriate. Both products non-VSAM and VSAM datasets contain non-SMPE content. The non-VSAM datasets are regular PDS datasets that will have low-level qualifiers starting with the characters UBMC followed by the characters that represent the specific content for that dataset. For example, you could have UBMC CLIB for user non-VSAM CLIST datasets, UBMC SAMP for user non-VSAM sample datasets, and so on. See the quick course on non-VSAM user libraries for more information. The product VSAM datasets are runtime VSAM datasets used by the products for repositories and are sometimes allocated in product C list. The same high-level qualifier may be specified for all three types of runtime datasets. If you are also installing MainView products, the configuration panels for MainView will create additional non-VSAM and VSAM datasets. The high-level qualifier specified on this panel will be used to seed the high-level qualifier for the MainView non-VSAM and VSAM datasets, but will be truncated to the first 21 characters due to other low-level qualifiers that will be appended. If you want the high-level qualifiers to be consistent, you should ensure that the names you specify here are 21 characters or less. You may specify a different high-level qualifier in the MainView configuration panels. 
you can specify one of three different values for low-level qualifiers for your product runtime data sets. The recommended option is number one, which use BMC as the first three characters of the low-level qualifier, followed by the characters that represent the specific content for that data set. For example, you could have BMC CNTL for data sets that have control members in them, BMC PLIB for data sets that have panels in them, BMC LINK for data sets that have load modules in them, and so on. This option provides one data set per content type and keeps all the BMC products being installed together in the same data set per type. The second low-level qualifier option uses the product line designator as the first two characters followed by the characters that represent the specific content for that data set. The product line designators are BB for main view and some performance products, DB for BMC products for DB2, IM for BMC products for IMS, XX for infrastructure components. For example, if you are installing MainView products, you will have names such as BBLink, BBPLib, BBSAMP. If you are installing DB2 products, you will have names such as DBLink, DBPLib, DBSAMP. If you are installing IMS products, you will have names such as IMLib, IMPLib, IMSAMP. If you are installing infrastructure, you will have names such as XXLink, XXPLib, XXSAMP. If you are installing a mixture of these products, you will have a concatenation, for example, of BBLink, DBLink, IMLib, XXLink, and so on for each type of dataset. In the past, the install might have configured your procs to use these concatenations of BB, DB, IM, and XX. You would want to choose this option if you do not want to change your existing procs or you use aliases to switch to the new runtime datasets. The third low-level qualifier option allows you to customize your own low-level qualifiers, which we will see on the next slide. Specifying an existing APF load library is optional. If you have an existing load library that you want to continue to use, you can specify the full name in this field and all the load library content as well as configured load content will be copied to this dataset. This option allows you to avoid having to request APF authorization for the new BMC load library dataset every time that an install is performed. Caution should be used, however, because content is copied into the library during installation with replace, so any environments relying on that dataset will be unavailable during installation. If you choose the third low-level qualifier option on the previous panel for runtime datasets, this panel will be displayed. This is a scrollable panel which shows a description of the dataset type, its target suffix, the default runtime suffix, which will also appear in the new suffix. You may overtype what is in the new suffix field with your new suffix. The datasets are grouped by content type having the same default suffix. You may specify up to four different suffixes for each content type. For example, you might want to use one low-level qualifier for utility products and a different low-level qualifier for the admin products. This option provides the flexibility that a company might need to segregate certain products. There are a few products such as RTCS, Application Restart Control, and Internet Service Retrieval, which have their own low-level qualifiers and may not be combined with the other products, but you may change their low-level qualifiers if desired. The next panel displayed allows you to specify different allocation values for each type of runtime dataset. If you had specified values in the site-wide defaults option from the installation main menu, those values will show up here but may be overridden. You may use the quick fill field to quickly enter data in any empty field in that column or use the quick clear fields to quickly blank out the contents in that column. If SMS values are specified, they will be used regardless of other values specified in the same row for those data sets. If you specified in the site-wide defaults that your allocations are controlled by SMS ACS routines, you do not need to specify anything on this panel. Thank you for your time. For more information on any BMC mainframe product, please visit the URL shown here.